What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be streaming some PTCGO this morning. I was considering getting started on the Ben Fam 35 Win Streak Challenge, but Pedro Torres stayed up all night, dude. The challenge is only live for 36 hours, and Pedro Torres, sure enough, smashed it at like 6 a.m. for his time uh, over in Spain. He uh, completed the challenge, got like 35 wins in a row, and is going to be the winner of that 50,000 bits. So huge shout out to Pedro for just taking care of that challenge, man. Man on a mission, got it done. So that is amazing. Kudos to you, Pedro. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even get to attempt it, but I'm not sure that I could have. Uh, I could have even held a candle to what you just did, man. So that was uh, that was amazing, and I'm really excited for Pedro. Uh, he's a frequent viewer of the channel as well, so excited that uh, that a channel friend was able to take down the challenge. So excellent stuff, Pedro. You're an inspiration to us all here streaming the Pokemon trading card game online. He had over 200 viewers when he finished the challenge at 6 a.m. for his time. That was uh, that was amazing. So, what's up, guys? What's up, Natalie? What's up, Manderson? Welcome, 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 welcome. Just getting uh, getting moving this morning. I was going to do some standard. I was, <laughs> I was thinking about waking up early. I have found it very hard to wake up early lately. I am not uh, having the easiest time doing that. Oh, Reggie rocks them all. Hello, hello. But uh, I got to work on that because we are getting a gym built here at Full Grip in the basement. And I would like to show up early to start working out in the mornings. That's kind of my my thing that I want to do. So that's on my to-do list. In order to do that, I'm going to have to start waking up a little bit earlier. Let's start off the day with some, what do you, what do you guys... What are you guys feeling? How do you want to start off your Thursday morning? It's your call, all right? It's your call. Let me know in the chat. We're playing Expanded, though. So we got some Expanded stuff. Let me know how you guys want to start off the day. I kind of wish that I had, uh, kind of wish that I had Frank's uh, Alolan Executor deck, the Spicy Spice Alolan Executor deck. He's been telling me about how much he loves this deck and that it is absolutely uh, his favorite deck. Land Bats, bro. Land Bats. You know I'm trying to play Land Bats if Land Bats was a playable deck. I mean, I guess you probably do okay versus like, you know, Vespa Queen, I guess, right? And then you probably don't quite beat Picaram, but you could try. Maybe if you play like Fighting Fury Belt, right? And Landorus, you like resist uh, Lightning and then also get plus 40. So, like, you know, if you have, like, an effective 240 hit points against Picaram, that's pretty good, right? Um, we got one for Picaram, one for Vespa Queen, and one for Land Bats. What's up, Tanish? Welcome. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do uh, some Vespa Queen. Yeah, we could, we could get rocking with some Vespa Queen. I could, I could feel it. Yeah, let's, let's get it cracking. Vespa Queen. Here we go. I'm good, Tanish. Thank you for asking. Man, it must be the morning because I forgot to pop out my chat. Excuse me while I pop out my chat. It's going to free... It's. I'm telling you, it's going to come over to the main window here. Boom. There it goes. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, guys. All right. Here we go. Back to the game. Excellent. All right. But I don't know why it does that. It just does. And it doesn't like to stay on my second screen when I when I pop the chat out from the Twitch window, so whoo, that's all right. Let's get it going here. We won the coin flip, fantastic! And thank you guys all, everybody who was hanging out yesterday and decided to stick around while Riley streamed, and then decided to stick around even longer during JW stream. That was awesome as well. So uh, they had great streams last night. It was exciting to see them doing such an awesome job. JW and Riley got that tag team going on, which is definitely a lot of fun to watch. I mean, I, I even watch it. So that's rad. And then uh, JW stream late into the night. I was staying up late doing that while, uh, while I was doing laundry last night. 
that was a good time as well. Sweet. All right, we're going to start with unknown here, and we're going first, so that's pretty radical. All right, unknown in the active, and we're playing against Shuckle. All right. We should probably just concede, right, guys? All right, press one. <laughs> press one. Press one to concede, two to stick it out and try to win. Press two to stick it out and try to win, Chad. I don't know about this. Should we give this troll the time of day? Or should we uh, should we go for it? I don't know if we can quite get this one. <laughs> it's feeling kind of bad, chat. It's feeling kind of bad. I know, right? JW was wearing sunglasses all night. I am envious of JW's swagger, just saying. All right, there's at least a, a good handful of people that want to see me suffer, so we're going to... We're gonna do this thing. Okay. We're gonna need to get a combi with like two, at least two DCE on it. And we're gonna hope that he doesn't have too many crushing hammers. Oh yeah! All right, we got a Blitzel, that's cool, man. And then, uh, sure, we'll do this. And then we're gonna get ourselves, this is like, this is that next level move right here. Yeah, you get an unknown, right? So that you actually end yourself to more cards. Boom, check that out. That's uh, that's the play right there. Sick. So we'll end, and uh, what do you know? Not a single good card for us to use, but that's okay. All right, we're looking for a double colorless energy. And uh, we got a Jirachi. An egg as well. Paul Samanko with the host. Appreciate you, Paul. Thank you. Um, I feel like I almost want to just burn through another card with that rescue stretcher. And it's cool. I'll wait till next turn. I don't think my opponent's going to be knocking out my unknown at all. But I guess just in case, I will put down the Drachi. Ideally, we wanted to get ourselves another... Uh, we wanted to get a double colorless on this combi, like, right now. Just so that maybe he didn't have the turn one hammer, right? But as this game gets longer and longer, you will have higher odds of seeing enhanced hammers and things like that. Oh, my goodness. This is potentially worse than I thought. Mm-hmm. Oh, and... <laughs> oh, God, chat. <laughs> Chat, no, get me out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, geez, chat. I don't think I could do this. Uh, we're going to we're gonna see what we can do. We're going to give it a shot. All right. There's shamans involved. Oh, my. And Max, this is Turbo Venusaur. All right. Turbo. He played three Max Elixirs on the first turn of the game, and he's going to miss all of them. Bet. All right. He, he hit one. This is... Uh, this is not good. And <laughs> Can I please, please, please leave? Oh my gosh, this is too much. Okay, so here we go. We actually got out of this somehow. We're going to go there. Um, probably just double Jirachi is fine. And then, yeah, let's, I mean, this is what we got, all right? We're going to go Choice Band there too. And we're going to go Vespa Quinn. And then we are going to get the Zip Striker. And we're going to Sprint. And that's just what we got, fellas. All right. Good good stuff. Good stuff. Let's go. Zebra Town. I know. Daltra Necrozma. This is, uh, what is this? This is a deck that smacks me, that's for sure. All right. So we'll uh, go Escape Board. And then we're going to Sycamore into a hand that hopefully has a DC in it, but it doesn't. Why? Why no DCE? Okay. So, I should have Ultra Balled first because I already know what it is. I'm going to go for, I, I already knew I'm like going like triple, double unknown if I can. Let's just get another unknown. Is there one more? There's no more unknowns. Never mind. Oh, boy. How many? I have three, three double colorless in the deck. This is something that does mildly concern me about this deck in general. It can be, uh, be kind of temperamental at times, all right? It can sometimes not behave. So I think here that we actually retreat into the, we just like, ah, well, shouldn't have done that. It's all good. I don't think that he's going to end up KOing this uh, Vespa Queen this turn. 
That's my, uh, yeah, there we go. Boom, sick. We will go here, and then I am going to get a double colorless, okay. And I don't know, what do you think? You think he ain't got it like that? You think he isn't gonna, I don't know. How many Pokemon I got in the discard pile? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, so I'm doing 18, 21. Yeah, that actually, okay, yeah, that would that would knock him out. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go for it. Yeah, there we go. I don't play Flareon in my list. That would be, uh, <laughs> that would have been very good for a time like this, but I don't actually like Flareon usually. So that's the sitch. All right, he's gonna be solar, no, Pollen Hazard, 50, am I dead? 50, 60, 70, 80, I'm almost dead, right? But not quite, it's like 80, right? Just 80? All right, 80, that's fine, I could deal with 80. Alrighty then, so we need to do some things. Uh, it's, uh, it's all bad pretty much, but it's cool. We don't want to NM, we don't want to teammates. We Sycamore into a 11 card deck, feels bad, right? So let's see, I think we honestly just sky return here with the choice band and probably, yeah, we cannot end him. That's bad. So, and I don't have Guzma, so that's just uh, that's just it. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do this. Yep, and we're gonna retreat. Okay, we're just gonna do this for this turn. He needs to live at least a little bit longer. You have more to do here. Okay, yeah, there's thirty damage because that Aether, unreal. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be all bad, all bad guys. All right. There's no way I'm one hit KOing this thing. I have, I mean, I do play 30 Pokemon in the deck. Okay, so like, I play 30 Pokemon in the deck. Sure, I mean, look, we won, we won anyways, all right? We won anyways, we got there. Win numero uno, didn't even need Flareon. <laughs> okay, I, you know, we could put a one one Flareon in the deck. I just think like, eh, you know, I don't know. In my opinion, I'd just rather hit the Vespa Queens, I guess more uh, more consistently, so we'll take that. All right, hey, 1-0 with, uh, with that, and we're gonna just put the Vespaquin deck to bed. There we go, excellent. Mm. Never punished, guys. Oh boy, I need to take my trash out. My trash can is filled with Dunkin' Donuts cups and monsters, and uh, there's actually no room for me to put my, put my coffee. Now it's gonna have to start spreading out onto my desk. That's not what I want. I'm really excited for Toronto though. So we're gonna be leaving for Toronto tomorrow morning. Very excited about that. And uh, should be an excellent trip, staying in a big Airbnb with a bunch of different people. So should be quite the excursion. And uh, very, very uh, excited. Let's see, we do have a Jirachi start, so that's fantastic. I really like this deck. I like this deck. I'm not sure that it's uh, quite good enough, but I do, I love it, right? I think that this is very fun to play. And we're playing against some sort of, uh, yikes. I guess we're playing against some sort of, uh, yeah, tool drop deck here in expanded format. You know, never quite what you want, but you know, it's all good. We'll do all of that, and then I'm just going to Sycamore and then Stellar Wish later. So there we go, cool. And I'll Stellar Wish for something. We got an escape board, beautiful. So that I'm going to be able to retreat next turn and then I'm not gonna play the Brooklet Hill yet because I don't want my, oh no, I gave them a tool. Ah, oh well. Okay, I don't want them to, I don't know. If they have a stadium, I wanna counter it. So we're gonna do that. Next turn, we'll probably end or Colrus or something. Yes, too risky, of course. Of course I'll sign cards. Always. No problem. Oh, Tool Drop. I'm not actually sure how we fare against Tool Drop with our Buzzworld deck. I feel like it could get a little sketch, or we could just like run them off the table real fast. I wanna use that Brooklet to go get a Diancy this next turn so that I'm doing as much damage as possible. And then I might even just, I mean, cause he might just not get another, right. No, I kinda anticipated that. He doesn't even have another Pokemon, so we're just trying to end the game here real quick. 
Let's get Nest Ball, get another Pokemon. We want, uh, we definitely are going to get the Diancie. Yes, it is, Tanish. This is my very own Buzzwall deck. All right, we're going to get the Zygarde as well. Z Money. And then I think that we just Sycamore through this hand. I don't know, and just try to go for win. Uh, a couple Max Elixirs. Or like a beast energy would do it. Would a strong energy do it? A strong energy would do it. Yeah, we're just going for a win. Let's go. Give me a strong energy. Oh, geez. What a messy looking hand. Okay. Uh, we need to just hit one of these max elixirs and it's game over. So let's Stellar Wish first and see what we get. Uh, a third max elixir. Beautiful. All right. I've got three shots to win. But I do have a bunch of fighting energy down. There is not much fighting energy left in that deck. There we go. Boom. Didn't matter. We got two. Never punished. Game over. GG's. Hope you had fun there. Send your tool drop. And it's uh, it's a wash. That's it. Absorption. All right. What's up, Charizard is best. That's how you beat tool drop. Right there, fellas. <laughs> no field blower necessary. All right, Tanish. Here is my list. Let's see, the buzz boy. All right. Let's see. I'll show you. Tanish for you, anything, Tanish. Buzzboy list. Here you go, Tanish. Check that out. Very uh, simple, concise list. I think this deck is a lot of fun and is pretty good, honestly. It's very aggressive, okay? It's very, very aggressive. That's like my favorite part about the list. So screen cap that, boom, and we're off. All right. Let's play another one with Buzzboy. This, uh, this deck is a blast. For sure. I mean, and the cool thing about it is that you get to switch between Jirachi and uh, and Buzzwool, and you can use Guzma, Guzma up something, promote Jirachi, Stellar Wish, find like Max Elixirs and things like that. It's just, uh, it's very strong and can just run your opponent off the table completely. Now, the problem that I was having with this Buzzwool deck is that Pikaram will just tag bolt GX around your B string turn. When they do that, you really you got nothing for that, right? I mean, they will just go from six prizes or five prizes straight down to two. Play around your B string completely, and then you have to rely on hitting every single one of your max elixirs, which is never really what you want to do, right? Because <laughs> you might actually miss some. Oh, Tanish, that's fantastic. You got your own Discord server. Very cool, Tanish. Very, very cool. All right. This is not a great hand, but we do have Stellar Wish, so anything could happen. We could grab a supporter off the top. Even just a Nest Ball, you know, probably be okay. We need more than a Nest Ball. Who am I kidding? Yeah, we need, like, a Pokemon. We need some draw support. That's what we need in this hand. But uh, this happens sometimes. Oh, and we're playing against a Pikachu deck. Come on, this is free. Oh my goodness, this is so free. We just need to attack, please. Oh, Stellar Wish, please grant me. <laughs> no. Okay, chat. All right, that's fine. We'll get him next turn, all right? We'll get him next turn. All right, probably with the with the switch, right? Just in case he doesn't get anything else going. All right, we, we got him next turn. All right, guys, yeah, busted deck, right? Busted deck. Here we are just starting Jirachi Pass <laughs> against the Pikachu, too. Oh, my gosh. He's going to agility me next turn, bro, or just evolve into Raichu and end me. This is why the 35 win streak was so hard that Pedro accomplished last night. That was amazing, dude. Granted, it's standard format, but it still goes all the same. Like, dude, this is, uh, this is just so insane. If he attaches Lightning, Thunder Mountain, game over. Do it. Just do it, man. Wishful Baton, Thunder Mountain Prism Star. Just end him. End him, Tapu Coco. Do it. I know you can. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Charizard is best. I am going to be at the Toronto Regional Championships. So it's not, uh, not going to be going on. All right. Jirachi, got one chance, one opportunity. Do not miss your chance. Stellar Wish. All right, I will take an N, I guess. I actually would have preferred just a nest ball there because I actually have all the juice in my hand. I just need a Pokemon, okay. 
Oh, this is gonna be the most painful end ever. All right, fine, go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna try and not just lose right here is what we're, oh, geez. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh man, why, why, why? Okay, we're gonna need another one, that's for sure. Okay, sure, 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 sure. And I'm gonna put, I guess, a strong energy on him and then pass, okay. I still think we're in it to win this one, all right? We're still gonna win. I don't think that my opponent's Tapu Koko, Wishful Baton deck, Raichu, oh, Circle Circuit Raichu deck, it's not with Picaram also. It's not enough, not enough to beat my fighting boys, all right? I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna call that right now. I think despite our absolutely atrocious start here, we're gonna be able to pull out of this, uh, this tailspin, all right? We just gotta have a little bit of faith and uh, continue to Stellar Wish. <laughs> That's what we get. Usually this deck is very aggressive, very snappy, right? Um, I think, yeah, we want at least another Pokemon. That's good. Sycamore, this hand feels bad, so we're not going to do that. Uh, let's just uh, get myself maybe a Nest Ball, another Pokemon. Sure, like, uh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Sledgehammer could be good for sure, especially if that, you know, Stellar Wish guy ends up going down, so let's just uh, Culverus. And then I'm feeling like this is cool, like this. Oh, wow, check that out. We can actually attack. But should I attack? I guess I probably should. I kind of need to save this guy. Yeah, so we'll go here, we'll go here, and then we're just going to, sure, we're going we're gonna to attack. Doesn't feel good, all right, but we'll, uh, we'll sell Storm. All right, so... That's where we're at right now, 110. Then we gotta save this Jirachi because we are going to switch back into Jirachi next turn and then find ourselves another supporter. That's what we're gonna do. That, uh, that's the jam. And that's, uh, that's the cool thing about this deck, is the switches. Usually, Buzzwell decks don't play switches, but mine does. Oh no, please do not. Oh, geez, guys, it's, <laughs> it's going. It's going down. <laughs> no. Oh, the Zygarde, you, you know, were so great for a period of time there, about two turns until you just got eaten alive by Sky High Claws. Okay, all right. And then the horrible thing is that I don't play any tool removal, so he's going to be able to pass that energy back to the Picaram. All right, guys, we're just going to have to, uh, yep, stay strong, Stellar Wish. Guzma doesn't quite get us there. Oh my gosh. Thinking that we'd have to just bring up the, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna bring that fella up for sure. Three prizes remain, sure. All right, we're just gonna hope that he doesn't have a switch card. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, guys, if my fighting deck, we need to cancel this deck. I told you this deck got canceled. It was fun, okay? And it is good sometimes, but I think Oh, yep, there it goes. Boom goes the dynamite. No beast ring whatsoever. Just nothing. Hot nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, geez. Okay, and a wishful baton to boot and full blitz. Like, who needs wishful baton, honestly, when you just are, you actually just have this much energy in play? <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. Right. I could build a, an entire house with these bricks. Now, my opponent is, I want to keep in mind, they have, this is their first supporter that they played, is a Colrus for five, and they are doing everything just fine. They even had the double electro power to take a knockout when they needed it. It was kind of kind of brutal there. And then the sad thing is, once they full blitz this thing, uh, I mean, they're going to be able to take a one-hit knockout with pretty much whoever they want, be it, Zorora or, you know, whatever, just just all sad. And they haven't gx yet, so they could just tag bolt GX a Buzzwolf for a game. Yeah, you know what? You you have a good deck, sir. All right, all right, all right. We're, we're out, we're out, we're out. We need to, we need to, all right, redeem that deck. We're going to redeem Buzzboy, okay? We're going to redeem him. This is the final ride with Buzzboy. I promise the deck is not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> the deck is not that bad. I thought it was a free win, Daltra, but this is, uh, I'm just saying. 
<laughs> the deck is not that bad. I promise, promise, promise. It's not. It's not. Okay. That was uh, an exceptional display of poorness, I, I will admit. But it has performed much better for me um, on both tabletop and online before. Though I will say that this deck is it's not exactly in my rotation anymore, is like expanded stuff. But I did want to build a good Jirachi deck in expanded because I think it's possible, and Jirachi's a strong enough card that it could see play in expanded format. It's just, uh, yeah, that was that was kind of ugly. Who knows where I'll be on the uh, the PTCGO ELO rating now? Probably. <laughs> Probably sent to the depths of the of the shadow realm, the depths of the beginner shadow realm. Now he's like, all right, loses to Circle Circuit Raichu with a fighting deck. Check. All right, send him down. <laughs> send him down, boys. <laughs> uh, there's no way he can uh, he can hang with the top players on BTCGO. Send him to the depths. <laughs> oh God. Okay. This is a fine starting hand. All right, this is uh, acceptable. It's not great. You know, but we at least got some action going on. I can handle this. We've got Brooklyn Hills, Max Elixirs, even a Switch. If I find myself an S-Ball or something like that, then hey, now we're talking. We're playing against Turbo Lax too. All right, who would have thought that we'd see Turbo Lax here in expanded format? But sure enough, we got it. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do is Brooklyn Hill for a bunch of things here. Uh, we also are going to want probably just another... Buzzwall. Actually, the land Zygarde seems kind of good. Yeah, Zygarde seems kind of busted. And then we'll just switch into the Jirachi as the deck is supposed to do. I'm looking desperately for a supporter card, so I'm just going to max Elixir first with it. Yes, love it. Stellar Wish. We've got a Guzma and an Escape Board. Okay, um, that'll probably do fine. I guess the Guzma would bring up, oh, I kind of just want the, yeah, yeah, it's looking like a skateboard's going to be the one. It's fine. And then we got to start attaching. I don't think that my opponent can get a turn one knockout, so we're just going to assume that that's, like, not the case. They're probably going to use something like Kiawe turn one and just go from there, all right? Uh, <laughs> we're going to totally win this one, all right? Even with a Lugia in their deck, Heat Factory, it's fine. I have come prepared. Lugia, let's see, what in the world does Lugia do? Pelagic Blade, this Pokemon can't use it during your next turn. They also will Lost Purge DX. They're gonna use Stevens to go find themselves a Kiawe for next turn. All right, Chad, I better not lose this game. I'm just saying, like, come on now. Now they are gonna get that, I mean, this EV Snorlax is ready to go. So they are getting you know, they're ready to roll here. I need to find some action or else this is going to be... Okay. All right, chat. Let's get it. We got Brooklyn Hill. We need to thin our deck appropriately. We're going to go and we're going to get ourselves the Diancy. And we're going to hope that Z-Money can get us there. And then we are going to Max Luxor because I desperately want a draw card. So we're going to do that. Find it. Good. So he's doing, what, 60, 80. He's doing a lot. I think it's, like, close to being dead. All right. Stellar Wish. A sycamore. A sycamore. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, chat. We are going to win. Let's go, chat. All right. Sycamore. And we're off. Give me an energy. We've got it. All right. Sicko mode. Here we go. And Max Elixir again. Sweets. Putting energy onto that buzzwall as well. Z Money getting in there on turn two. And we'll just retreat. And uh, let him have that Lands Wrath to the uh, to the Noggin. I think that should do it, right? Didn't do my math, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot. Yeah, 380. Actually, kind of close. 370 is how or 270? No, it's not close. 380 is how much I did. That is plenty. Boom, dead. 110 damage to spare. Zygarde getting there. Now the rest of these Pokemon do resist uh, fighting, so that's a, a little bit sketchy. All I need to do, though, is get a Max Elixir to work here. Ooh, they could Lost Purge me. Not exactly what I'm looking for here, but, you know, that could happen. So let's see. I mean, we could Guzma and, like, soften these things up with, uh, with a good old Jet Punch. It's always a possibility. Guzma also allows me to Stellar Wish a couple times, which I do like. 
So let's uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm feeling Guzma. Yeah, and we're gonna put our Jirachi here into the active. And then Stellar Wish, I also kind of want my Sledgehammer Man. I feel like it could be, could be Sledgehammer time here coming up shortly if one of my boys goes down. Sure, let's Stellar Wish. We've got Switch, Nest Ball, Guzma, B-String. I feel like the B-String is probably just the best card to take. And then we can also uh, feel like if I go for Max Elixir, I mean, I'm not even knocking the thing out. He's got, like, just a lot. So we'll uh, we'll just attach here, and then I'll just save the cards in my hand for next turn. I think, yeah, it's not really worth going in and jet punching. I mean, I could jet punch. It softens this thing up, but I feel like we just probably go in and, I mean, jet punch would be good. Yeah. I mean, but then I'm only doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's soften it up. It's fine. If the, you know, if the Buzzwell ends up biting the dust, he ends up biting the dust. It's fine. I need to soften up both these guys, though. They just have, like, a huge resistance, right? They have huge resistance there. So I need to, like, get through that. Let's see. You do uh, 190. Yeah, how much is he doing right now? Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Is he doing one? I didn't actually do the math there, but he's doing 140, 70, 190. So one more strong, and I could knock him out with Zygarde. It's going to be a little bit more conservative than that, I guess, because I just didn't want to get lost purged, like have all of my cards on the Zygarde and then just like, boom, the Zygarde is then vanquished, right? I guess I could have knocked out. Could I have just knocked out that? I Yeah, I could have just comp searched for, a, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I should have done that. Oh boy, math is hard, guys. I just didn't realize that Zygarde could do 210, but now I'm like looking at it like that was a thing. So it's cool. We're gonna not be punished, but I bet, yeah, we probably could have comp searched for it and just had it. It's all good though. So it's uh, it's looking like my opponent is either not there or passed because they ain't got anything. So we'll uh, we'll take it. But that's uh, yeah. Do your math next time, guys. That uh, you're right, Andrew. Do your math. Math is good for you. We'll get the strong energy. And. Yeah, I mean, now we're doing 160, 180, 200. Like, that's just plenty, plenty, plenty. So I can just Sycamore here. It doesn't actually matter. We'll take this knockout, and then we've got knockout built up on the bench here as well. Knuckle impact, totally fine. Don't even need the choice band. That's just going to do it. And then uh, we'll have knockout here on the Lugia for game as well. And that'll be it. Even if our Buzzwell gets lost, purged, we're cool here. The Lugia not going to be able to do it. So the uh, the Buzzwell deck there, we got to show a little bit more of what the <laughs> what the Buzzwell deck can do this game, all right? It's like uh, it is just a fast, aggressive deck. You play lots of, uh, you know, lots of good cards. You play lots of Guzmas. You play some Switches. You'll be able to get into your Jirachis to find your Max Elixirs and your B-Strings. The deck has some synergy. It's definitely fun, though it is just very kind of linear and straightforward. We play like three copies of Buzzwell GX, one copy of Seed Money, and one Sledgehammer Buzzwell. Yeah, they are not even there, are they? So that's just, uh, we're going to end you with Zygarde. That's just going to be it. Pretty sure that's it, right? Land's Wrath, that should do it. Boom. And that's it. So, Zygarde, Buzzwell, fun deck. Let's move on to Picaram. The real the real deal in expanded format pikachu and zekrom ryan reynolds gx let's see it uh i did get to check out did you guys see the new detective pikachu pokemon cards that were revealed those are pretty cool mewtwo looks like super ugly though if you guys saw that I, like i can't get over how ugly the mewtwo is uh but it's fine I think that it's still a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, all 18 Detective Pikachu cards revealed. Yes, here we go. So sick. Let's see. Um, yeah, no basics here. That's fine. Uh, I think that the Pikachu just looks so cute, right? The Pikachu looks so cute. Let's see. Mewtwo GX, the Detective Pikachu. Oh, yes. There he is. Boom. So there we go. There's the Mewtwo GX right there. And then all of the other Detective Pikachu Pokemon cards 
The Ludicolo is so cute, too. I can't handle it. He looks awesome, dude. Uh, I think, you know, these are going to be great collector pieces, that's for sure. Yes, I am going to collect these, dude. Look at the Ludicolo. He's so cool. And that Bulbasaur is, like, super cute. The Ludicolo looks incredible. The Bulbasaur looks amazing. Like, I think that Bulbasaur is, like, super cute. Uh, the Charizard looks pretty rad, not going to lie. The Pikachu is, like, unbelievably cute with, like, its little magnifying glass. Our canine looks, like, super tough. The Mime is hilarious. I'm into that as well. Uh, I think a lot of them. Even the Snubble, dude. The Snubble is, like, adorable. So, Andrew, do you or did you ever collect tech decks? I have a tech deck right here, Team Dead. There it is, yes. Uh, my sibling gave me this for, uh, I guess, uh, Christmas or something, yes, this year. And uh, I don't collect them actively, but I do have some. And this is one of them. And I can do tricks with them because uh, I did that a lot. I have to look at the Mime's ability. I did not look at that yet, not going to lie. So let's see what we got going on here. Flash energy on the active. We'll comp search away. I guess these things, and then we're going to get ourselves a Zera Aura, and then just try to max elixir to the Zera Aura, energy switch it up to the active, and we're going to try and end this fool. Let's go. Let's go, chat. All right. Juniper, and we're looking for a turn one full blitz. We've got it. All right. But I don't have a knockout yet because, yes, I do. All right. Let's go. Tapu Koko Prism Star is prized. Why are you prized? Okay. Ugh, if the Tapu Koko Prism Star was not prized, we would have it, but we cannot use three energy right now because uh, we need three energy to knock out this Shuckle, and we don't have it right now. So we got to go here and set up for three and see what we can get. Hard mode without the Tapu Koko. We need another... Hmm... Oh, we desperately just need another Max Elixir to hit so that I can energy switch. All right, we're going all in, folks. Let's get, I guess, the Lightning down. And then I'll bench the, yeah, that's fine. Going all in. Oh, no, never mind. My other Lele is prized. That's fine. Or my other Shaman's prized. Okay. Well, that's okay, chat. It's fine. We can full blitz for nothing, right? That's just uh, that's just what we on right now. So we're gonna put it all onto the Pikaram. Yep. And uh, we'll see if they can respond. Oh, Team Dead, thank you. I appreciate that. That would be uh, be awesome, right? So yeah, I'm just gonna full blitz the Wondrous Labyrinth. Not gonna be doing much to my what five energy Pikaram here. And they uh, probably ain't got it like that. Let's take a look at that Mr. Mime. Panto Mime, when you play this Pokemon from your hand on your bench during your turn, you may switch one of your face down prize cards with the top card of your deck. Oh, that's kind of fun. Um, but that's the thing is like, I guess like, could you do it if you, if you have town mapped, can you still Panto Mime? Because it says switch one of your face down prize cards, but what if your prize cards are face up because you uh, use town map. I don't know. Those are the questions that I have. So, let's see. Yeah, looking like uh, probably electro power is going to be the thing. And then let's just juniper. And I'm probably just going to full blitz this fella for knockout. Feels like the move. Sure. Uh, we'll just do that. And I don't really think that, I mean, I super need to like do all this like max elixir stuff but like i will just because it's here it's fine we'll do that i should have trainers mailed first doesn't matter never punished we're gonna get that check that out and boom another max elixir and boom yeah there we go so yeah this is a venusaur so i don't know we've got like a bunch of energy in play we're just gonna full blitz this thing for knockout and then just, uh, I don't know, put like more energy in play. One, two, three, four, five. So I guess we'll put that onto like probably the active so that I could like tag bolt, right? 
take our two prizes and hopefully this, uh, let's see, we've got one electro power down, so I could technically find three electro powers if I wanted to. There's an enhanced hammer, all right. One, two, three, four, five. So I want to be able to tag bolt, but that may not happen. Might just be full blitz town for a bunch of term, uh, <laughs> a bunch of turns. Oh, thank you, Team Dead. I appreciate that. The tech decks are a lot of fun. Appreciate that for sure. I don't know exactly what my opponent is doing yet. You never really know what you're going to see on the expanded ladder. You never really know what you're going to see on the expanded ladder in the morning. What does this Greninja do? Furious Shurikens. This attack does 50 damage to your opponent's Pokemon. If any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin of heads, prevent it. Interesting. All right. Oh, there's a Hoopa. All right, chat. It's been nice knowing you. I play one Silent Lab. So I guess that's my out. So let's, uh, let's just attach here. And then I think I just need to N or Colbris probably. I could one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's N. It's fine. Uh, I guess Colrus for four would have been totally acceptable as well. We're just going to start putting pressure on and hope that eventually we find, let's see, Tag Ball 230, 60. Actually, I'm very close to knocking this thing out. I just needed one more. So uh, we are going to full blitz because I'm 10 short. So we'll do that. It's fine. Ton of damage there. Let's take a look at this deck. I've got the Silent Lab is in deck. So not all hope is lost. I need to find Lab, and then I guess preferably I will knock out the Hoopa when I find that Lab. But if my opponent, I promise, if you mill my Lab, okay, I was gonna say, if you mill my Lab, Salty Camper, all right, Max Potion, it's fine. That would be horrible, literally horrible. So it's looking like this is the turn. I am just gonna go all in for it, I think, to try and like just win the game. Uh, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't do that, but I, I'm feeling it, all right? Things could get sketchy, especially if they continue doing this, so we need to we need to just try here, see what we can finesse. All right, let's take a look at the deck a little bit real quick. Uh, we got Ultra Ball here. Just see what we, we got going on. All right, there's two Energy Switch. There's the Silent Lab. And Choice Band. I actually don't even have another Electro Power in my deck. Okay. So, it does, yikes. All right, so I was never gonna one-hit KO this thing. So I need to just continue full blitzing until they let some damage stick. All right, that's, that's fine. Okay. Oh, my other two Electro Powers are prized. Why, why are you prized, Electro Powers? That's cool. All right, we'll just call us then so I don't deck myself out. And, yeah, we got the Silent Lab, but we are just trying to full blitz here and get it to stick. Uh, 210, it's fine. That is totally fine. All right. And then I guess if my opponent does, like, yeah, they're just going to keep Max Potioning this thing. I don't, I don't know, man. It feels bad. And then they Stevens Resolve, okay, they're going to get themselves whatever they need. Oh, gosh, chat. At least the Silent Lab is in my hand so that I cannot be Rocket's handiworked here. If I had just one more Electro Power in the deck, that would have been game. I could have like, I could have Junipered through the remaining cards in my deck pretty much, and I think I would have been just about guaranteed to find it. So it's kind of uh, kind of horrible, but we're gonna stay strong here. And as they Stevens resolve for anything they want, we're gonna just think about how yes, we wish that we had another Electro Power in the deck. Um. Yeah, I don't really think that we can waste this Silent Lab right now. Uh, I hope they don't cold crush me or whatever. So I feel like I might need to, because if they like cold crush me, you gotta assume the deck probably plays cold crush. So I think I'm like hopping off this, like, I think I'm hopping off this like fully loaded guy here and we're gonna just retreat energy switch. That way, like, I have, I don't know, four energy between two. We're going to just go with that. All right, and then full blitz again. So I think, I don't know, that could be, it could be, like, totally wrong. I could just lose the game that way. But I'm thinking that, like, because I need to tag bolt. So I don't, I don't know. I think we lose, guys. 
<laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do this thing. Oh, unless. Oh, that's it. Yep. Needed to. <laughs> and the, the crazy thing is, if I had just not blown my energy switch, oh my gosh, chat. I think that's, I don't have any energy left in deck, right? Yeah. I mean, let's just, uh, I don't think I have, I have no energy left in deck. So that's it. That's it. I played myself, chat. I can't attach this energy, right? <laughs> I can't, can't attach it. Oh, gosh. Oh, you have a good deck. All right, get me out of here. That is so sad. So, so, so sad. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was going to do there. I didn't know if he was going to cold crush. I was feeling very scared about the cold crush. That's what I was uh, fearing there. So I guess, ugh, that was sad. All right, let's play Pico Rum again. Stall decks, my guys. Stall decks. Rip. I know. Back to the Shadow Realm of the Elo Ladder. Here I go. Back to the realm. Hello, Mesprit guy. Welcome. Hopefully you're having a great day here so far. Sick. I'm not traveling today. I am going to be traveling tomorrow, though, to the Toronto Regional Championships. And uh, should be a lot of fun. Get an Airbnb and stuff like that. I know. The Tapu Coco, if I had a Tapu Coco, that would have done it. Like, a bunch of things there would have helped. I, I had some horrible prizes in that last game, which was, like, really unfortunate. Even just, like, one more Electro Power would have done it. Um, and then the energies, I just needed to, like, my opponent played himself. I needed to just not not waste those energy switches. I guess I was just, like, too scared of what was going to happen with the Cold Crush. So, oh, that's... That's all good, Dale. Yeah. All right, we're playing against a Hitmonchan deck. Time to see if the Hitmonchan deck can actually do some things here. I mean, I am interested to see uh, what it's got. Uh, we shouldn't have a great matchup against Hitmonchan, to be honest. So this is uh, definitely a little bit of an uphill battle, though. Uh, though I think we can be okay. We just need to like definitely knock out that Diancy. The whole deck really revolves around this card. So if you're playing against this deck and you take out the Diancy, their damage is much, much lower. All right. We have a handful of just absolutely nothing, though. So that's uh, that's what we got. Um, okay. <laughs> and I know Almighty Hitmonchan, very excited about the Hitmonchan deck. Somehow we have nothing here. Um... Okay. I don't know. You ever want to just... You just want to attack with Tapu Lele, bro? <laughs> you want to just, like, go in and hit that... So we can hit that Diancy for, like, I don't know, 40 damage. Seems kind of bad. Guzma, I mean, like, we don't have any good attackers to pick from. Don't get me... Don't get me wrong. We have nobody good to attack from. So... Sure. Um, yeah, that's fine. Boom, check this out. <laughs> all right, pass. I was going to say, I can, like, sky return, all right? Which, like, I don't know if that's good, but, like, at least if I, like, top deck another Guzma, like, maybe. But that just is, uh, this ain't working, Chief. All right. Yeah, we're just going to pass. That's it. Nothing. I don't really know what the best... I was like, I could get, like, Lele, and if I get Lele... Because you know he's going to have float stones in the deck. So, like, you could get Lele, and then maybe, like, I could have hit the Max Elixir and then popped that him on hand for 60. But then the Lele is just about to get, like, smacked here. So, it's not great. Especially when your opponent goes first, starts the Wob. Like, that's... uh. It's pretty much worst case scenario for you. So definitely not uh, not what you want to see. Back to the <laughs> to the low elo realm. I know, bro. I know. All right. Let's uh, see if we can. If we don't top deck anything here, I'm sorry, guys. Yup. Hit my chain. All right. Let's put Pikaram away. Let's Pikaram. You failed us. Okay. You failed us twice in a row. 
We're going to have to go and play. I don't know. We could. Uh... <laughs> Oxella Sun, I think you do need more than one shaman in the, in the deck. Probably. We could play. Probably. Let's let's roll a game with Archies. That's fine. We'll do that. Let's see if we can't just like stunt on some people real quick with Archies Ace in the hole. Let's see if we can't just get that deck rolling quickly. Should be fine, honestly. I mean, sometimes I draw some like real bummer hands with Archies. Like that definitely happens, but when it works, oh, it is glorious for sure. It works, it works. This has been a, a rough morning out here, man. Rough, rough, rough morning. Looks like we might also be playing against an Archie's deck. I think judging by their Blastoise coin, I'm thinking that this is an Archie's mirror, which could just be kind of disastrous. My opponent also has some Blastoise sleeves. So I'm thinking that this is some Blastoise v Blastoise stuff going on here. Now, I started Magikarp Wailord. That's pretty good for me. I don't want to start. Ah, so did they. Touche. Touche. Now, this uh, this could be fine, because if I can get like, I don't know, if I get like a turn one towering splash, then I could KO shamans or things like that. If they put shamans down on the bench, that would be pretty fantastic for me. They got that order pad head, so they are going to be able to get the turn one Archies. I also just have Ultra Ball and Battle Compressor in my hand with a Versus Seeker, so I think that we just have it as well. You have Battle Compressor. Blastoise, Archies, and like an egg or something. And uh, we could just be off to the races. So that would be pretty rad, right? See, uh, almighty Hitmonchan, the fam challenge is over, man. Uh, the fam challenge, uh, Pedro Torres won it. So he was, uh, he bossed that thing out in one day, dude. It was insane. That's, uh, that's why the fam challenge, yeah. So it's not even a thing anymore. Just totally got smoked by Pedro Torres. He spent all day working on it and cranked out the 35 wins, man. Rob 35. Pedro already won it, dude. It's over. Pedro Torres won 35 wins. Absolute insanity. Got there. All right. You know what? It's, it's crazy. When I'm playing, like, other decks, I always end up, like, double prizing something, like I'll double prize uh, like a two of that I play, but when I'm playing Blastoise I never double prize Blastoise and I never double prize Archies, it never happens I don't know why just just don't happen like that uh, yeah, we're going to Ultra Ball away, a Verse Seeker and an N and see what we got going on here, I think I'm going to just get myself, honestly, the Volcanium Prism Star seems kind of good sure, we'll get that fella and then uh, Trainer's Mail, hopefully hit a Battle Compressor, something like that. Sick. And we'll Battle Compressor one more time. And see what else there is to discard. Probably those guys and like a Water Energy. We honestly, you know, probably want to get some Waters down. But let's see how many Waters do I have? None down. We'll discard two Waters. It's fine. And then just attach to my active here, and we are going to Archie's Ace in the hole. So we are going to get that Blastoise into play. Boom! And yep, let's go. So did Pedro roll a new account as well? Is that what happened? Is that what we're, uh, we're saying in the chat? Yeah, probably. I mean, once Tord showed that he was doing it, then it was kind of like everybody had to do it, right? Because if you, like, weren't doing a new account, then you were, like, fighting an uphill battle uh, against Tord, who, like, got to 30 with a brand new account. So, oh, thank you so much, Idiots R Us, for the bits. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us this morning. All right, let's, uh, let's get that order pad action going on. Yeah! So we can uh, go get some shamans, I think. Do we want shamans, though? I mean, honestly... We could just Battle Compressor and hit this thing for 180 turn one. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do that for sure. So let's get Battle Compressor. Because we don't actually want Shamans in play if we can, you know, if we can help it. 
because the shamans can get towering splashed. Kind of like free prizes, right? So let's see here. We got egg and we've got two waters. So battle compressor, I think another egg if I, I don't have it. Okay, so we need two more waters. And then I'm thinking also maybe my sycamore so that I could potentially go and order pad next turn for, I don't want to, hmm, yeah, that's fine. I like don't want to superior away this order pad though, but I also don't want to superior away this Magikarp and Waylord. That being said, I could probably get another one out and we probably don't want, I could probably Archie's another one out. That's fine. All right, let's propagate. Oh, that's probably pretty busted. I could jet, I could jet geyser, and uh, and knock out the Blastoise this turn. That would be pretty good, right? What's up, Darium? I know, Darium in the chat, everybody. Welcome, welcome. All right, I'm thinking that yeah, knocking out the Blastoise would be pretty busted. Uh, we just have to hope that he ain't got it like that next turn. Um, and then, you know, knocking out a Magikarp Whaler does put me on odd prizes, so I kind of do like that. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll Jet Geyser, bring up that Blastoise there. And then we just need four in the discard pile, bring it back. Yeah, we got five. That's fine. So let's just get rid of these. And then we are going to knock out that Blastoise T1, pretty busted, with Super Splash. Now, we could get kind of, I feel like, punished for this, maybe because if my opponent is able to respond, I don't know, that would feel kind of bad. But to be honest, they would just hit into my Magikarp and Waylord, and then I would have another opportunity to respond. And to be honest, in order for them to get, um, in order for them to get the Blastoise out, they may have to do something that they don't want to do, like maybe Bench Shaman or something like that. So that could be very good for a Towering Splash play later on. I know, Darium, you're awake for some weird reason. I know, me too. Also, weird feelings being awake. So they're just gonna go for Guzma. That shows me they got nothing going on here. So they uh, just got two whales and nada. So we'll, uh, I think we'll go for the, I guess we'll go for the trainer's mail first because if I hit ultra ball off the trainer's mail, I want to be, uh, I, I don't know, we'll trainer's mail first. We'll see what we get. All right, we got a Superior and an Archies. That's actually kind of funny because I can't Field Blower. So, like, I think I could Superior for, like, one energy. I think we kind of have to take the Archies low-key. But I guess if I Order Pad, I could hit a Battle Compressor, and then I could do some things, right? So, like, I don't think it really matters. But, like, if I, yeah, because if I hit Versus Seeker also, I would want to, like, Sycamore. So, let's see here. We're just going to go for the Order Pad. And we got it. So that's awesome. And we can just, Archie's our other whale back into play if we want to, to be honest. That seems kind of good. So I'll probably do that. We'll get Ultra Ball, and then I can Ultra Ball away the Field Blower and an Egg, and then we'll just go from there. That seems fine. Uh, that or I could get Verse Seeker. We could just get Verse Seeker and just go for it. Yeah, 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 you know what? Let's just, let's just keep this train going. Yeah, we're just gonna get that Sycamore down. We're gonna do that. I don't need to stunt at all. I don't need to flex. We can just go Sycamore. I don't need another RG play. That's doing too much. Sycamore. And we'll draw a fresh hand. Yes, that's exactly what I am looking for. So I can sauna blast these things. That will be good. Weaken them up a little bit. Battle compressor away. Some water energies. We only got three left in the deck, but that's exactly what I want because now I can get four. If I propagation, bring it back to the hand, superior, get some waters, boom. Please, please give me the waters. And then we'll deluge them into play. Uh, I don't really need to use that trainer's mail. There's not really anything that I wish I had, so kind of fine with it. And then I'll probably just save the choice band in my hand as well, just because I don't really need to put it anywhere. I don't know why I'm putting four onto the Volcanian. I think I just got very excited. So that happened. It's all good. Let's do 100 there, 20 there. 
And then Super Splash, at this point, can take a KO on this active whale, which would take me down to two prizes remaining. Order Pad Tails, that's gotta be a feel bad, right? Definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely a feel bad, and they'll just concede. Like, get me out of here. All right, it's, uh, that's, that's not good. So Whale Lord, Busted Deck, definitely a good one. Uh, for sure. All right, let's uh, let's rock that again. I know, I know. They did fix Deluge. Uh, it was so horrible to play there for the longest time, having to click Deluge every single time. Uh, horrible, horrible. Uh, yeah, coding snafu there. So glad we got that figured out. Though my new issue, chat. My new issue is Pokemon communication. That card is broken. It doesn't work right. All right. When your opponent plays Pokemon Communication, it is supposed to show you the card they are trading away, okay? Uh, but it doesn't show you, right? So, that is, a, that is a broken card, all right? It's a broken card, and I wish it was fixed. This Blastoise list is literally the same as the top eight one from Dallas, except I have taken out the Kingdra, and I have put in a Wishy Washy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's a uh, Pikachu and a Sableye. All right. Still, I'm apparently not out of the PTCGO Shadow Realm here, uh, but I am not feeling confident. I bet you, usually, if a deck has a Sableye in it, I lose. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Uh, as a general theme, whenever my opponent starts junk hunting, I'm not winning that game. That's just uh, something that usually happens, uh, a trend that I've noticed over the course of time. Oh, what's up, Sanichi? Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Pedro, yes. Pedro, welcome. And congrats on your uh, congrats on your streak, my man. That was amazing. I just tweeted at you this morning. Uh, I think you did an incredible job. Made us all proud, Pedro. So everybody, shout out to Pedro for winning the 35 win streak challenge. All right, Chad. Everybody, say congrats to Pedro. Pedro is amazing. All right. So chat, give your give your best uh, your best. Woohoo to Pedro. And uh, Pedro, you stayed up all night, man. That's amazing to get that done. All right, we were playing against something with Giraffe Rig. There's also Scoop Up Cyclones. Like, all right, I want to get a turn one Towering Splash. That's what I want here. So let's uh, let's Trainer's Mail first is like a weird thing that we do. All right, that's fine. Because like, if there's any good card that you're going to get with the Order Pad, you hope you hit it off the Trainer's Mail first. But three order pads, you figure we should be able to get this done, right? So let's start order padding. Ah, eh, well, all right, we're gonna try it again. And just really one of these, if one of these hits, like we're cool, one of them, just one, no, okay. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, busted deck, guys, busted deck. All right, chat, send your Fs to the chat, please. I'm gonna need some Fs here pronto. That was a feel bad. I don't know that, uh, yeah, it's cool. Let's, uh, we actually still have it. As funny as that is. If the Lele is in here, yeah, we could just go get Archie, right? <laughs> yeah, all right, we're, we actually still got it. <laughs> okay, everybody stay calm. We've got it. So we're just gonna go here, Lele. Yeah, somehow amazingly, we actually just still have it. But it still felt bad, all right? Just still felt bad. I wanted to battle compress, all right? We wanted to do more than this. But we'll, you know, we'll take it. All right. Boom. Four cards. Five cards. Got a superior. See, because, like, now we ain't got, like, look at this hot mess that we drew into. This could have been, like, a really good turn. Instead, I'm going to, like, energy drive this giraffe rig for 40 maybe like that's that's how trash this hand is oh, i still think we do it though yeah that's fine i'm gonna get that 
because we're probably going to sick them more next turn. Like, let's be honest. So, you know what? It's fine. I'm going to just put that into play. Like, what? Oh, my gosh, dude. This guy, there's no way I beat this deck. I'm just going to say there's no way. He's going to start, like, I see what this is. I see what this is. This is, I needed desperately to Towering Splash that turn. Like, if I did not Towering Splash, game over. He's going to Sable Lock me, all right? This is, like, this is Raichu Sableye Lock. I've never seen this before. I didn't know this was a thing. I don't think it is a thing, but that's what he's going to do. He's going to get a Raichu. I'm going to be paralyzed. He knows I'm not playing Keldo in here, all right? Because that top eight list from... Oh, that top eight list was not playing Keldo. So here we go. Yep. Sure enough, there is Raichu and Crow a Gunk. All right. That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is uh, gorgeous. All right. And then just... <laughs> I'm just going to start Giraffe rigging my stuff, bro. Oh, jeez. All right, I need to find myself... Uh... Okay. We can still win. I just need to, like... Um, I need to get a turn where I Guzma... All right, let's see if my Guzma's in the deck. All right. My Guzma in here. Yeah. Oh, I cannot put the Guzma into my discard pile, though, or he will for sure <laughs> get lost to that thing. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, so we need to draw into things naturally. I need to only put garbage cards in my discard pile. All right. Uh, only bad cards in the discard pile. Got it. All right. So let's do that. We're going to send, like, I don't know, like, Field Blower probably won't help. Uh, probably other things that won't help right now. Uh, choice bands won't help. All right, there we go. Okay, so I think in order to win, I'm going to have to probably start loading energy onto this Magic Carbon Whaler, that's for sure. How am I limited to... Oh, he's paralleled me. Okay. That's fine. All right, so... Let's, uh, I don't know, we're gonna change my. That's my uh, superior. Okay. It's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, we're like kind of stuck here. All right. That's, uh, that's not good. How many waters we got down? Not enough. Okay. That's fine. Go ahead. Bet you can't do it again, bro. Bet you can't do it again. All right, so that's just like a, kind of a sketchy situation we got ourselves into. Yeah, they're just going to keep doing this over and over again, and then they're going to just keep junk hunting and doing the shock lock. The thing is that this lock is just not as hard as like the... It's not as hard as the Stoutland lock because I can Guzma out of this. So I guess their hope is to use like Giraffe Rig to get rid of my Guzmas to make sure that that never happens. And then I am just going to, you know, pass and try to just hope that eventually, um, yeah, they're going to start rocket handy working me if they are able to rocket handy work, uh, you know. And then this is the grind here. They just scoop up and keep it, keep it rocking. That's it, right? And then the lele stays here forever. <laughs> that is so uh, bad. That is not good. Tell you that much okay so this deck does seem very tough to take six prizes against uh, and then they're just gonna start milling me yeah well you just keep flipping more of those tails my man and we'll uh we'll keep grinding <laughs> that's for sure okay so i need to all right i need to find some stuff here yeah let's let's trainers mail that's fine okay we've got that's a good card i need to take the guzma desperately need to take that so, unfortunately, we have revealed to them that now we have the Guzma in my hand. But I don't think that there's any like anything for them to necessarily do about it. Um, I cannot waste the Guzma necessarily, though I do have Versus Seekers. Uh, I really want to... Yeah, I think we're going to start like throwing some energy down. But they just have an infinite lock, so 
Um, I feel like I can't really like let myself get hued. I mean, hue is a possibility, so we do have to like be careful of that. But we've got Guzma and the Superior in my hand, so what I need now is to find like a water and a battle compressor, I guess, right? If I can find a water energy and a battle compressor, I can get, I need to get eight and I need to knock out both Raitus at the same time with Towering Splash. In fact, I will Guzma and I will bring up like the Lele and then we'll just hit, but oh yeah, they're gonna end now. So like they know, right? They know. They know I got the Guzma now, so it's no secret, right? That's like the tough part about this is like, I can't really keep that a secret. And then if they are able to eventually just keep that Guzma out of my hand, I can't put it in the discard pile and keeping it in my hand is gonna be hard. So that is the, that is the sad part. All right, we'll take the Fisherman, though that doesn't really do me too much good right now either. And then we're just gonna put another water into play. I could go for Sycamore. Uh, that just seems like I'm decking myself out very fast. Giving myself only one Guzma feels bad. So I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna go pass. I think that if I, let's see. I mean, and this is like, you see, man, dude, I am just not a big fan of these decks. This is not, Oh, it's not very viewer friendly. <laughs> just sitting here and getting, getting like just locked every turn while we try to just uh, figure our way out of this puzzle. I do want to play a one of Tate and Liza Sir Pandage. I do, but all my friends told me that I would be mean if I did that. But I think that a one of Tate and Liza in here is not the worst thing. All right, what did they get? They got my comp search. That's sad. But yeah, no, I don't. I don't think it's necessarily a bad idea. I think that that's probably valid. Let's uh, Ultra Ball away the Fisherman and the Egg, sure. And I'm just gonna get like another card out of my deck to try and thin a little bit. And, uh, oh, <laughs> David Busa, you think this is entertaining. Oh, yikes, all right. We're just gonna keep passing. Now, if they start handiworking my deck, there is a possibility that they will then discard. Oh, but if they discard my Guzma, oh, geez, guys. Yeah, if they discard my Guzma, they will just retreat and get lost it. Like, that's the order of opera. That's what they're going to do. So if they do that, yeah, then I lose. So... Okay, they hit a battle compressor. Gosh, I like need that battle compressor too so that I can get my own Guzma. So I think I kinda need to, gosh, I cannot Sycamore this hand though. I don't think I can Sycamore the hand. Sycamoreing just feels like a lose condition for sure, right? Like I definitely just lose if I Sycamore, right? Right chat, one verse seeker left. Ain't no way I win if I Sycamore this into such a small looking deck. And my opponent's hand is huge too. So I think we kind of just have to go. There's no, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go. All right, you know what, chat? If I lose this game, I don't care, all right? Because this, this deck, dude, this deck. All right, we're just gonna, boom, let's do it. I know they're like, hooray, he gave us the win. All right, but that's that's fine. That's the way it goes sometimes. So we'll uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fine, I'm gonna deluge another energy on here. And then I don't think I can necessarily battle compressor. Six, that's fine. Um, what's up, Lily? Good morning. So I have the Guzma in my hand, but I don't have enough energy. Uh, how many superiors? I should have like mad superiors in that five card deck. I should at least have one. Uh, though they are going to be probably looking to like handiwork it away this turn if I guessed, you know, which is going to be devastating. They're just going to hit one. I know they are. And I need one. Yeah. Oh, gosh, guys. <laughs> oh, no. That's horrible. Okay. There's no way. That's it. It's game over. All right. We got played 6-7. I'm one energy short of being able to Towering Splash 
one energy short, zero card deck. I can't Guzma. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's all. GG's. You know, we tried. <laughs> Just feel defeated. Um, all right. Let's get in there. And uh, sure. All right, I'm going to play Pikaram again. I don't know. Pikaram, probably a fine deck. Archie, yeah, we're going to redeem ourselves. Let's actually Archie's and redeem ourselves. That was a disaster. I'm sorry, guys. There's nothing I could have done about that, to be honest. Shock lock, man. Just feeling too, too, uh, yeah, too bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man, shock lock. No greater feeling than just being being locked out the game like that. Now, a Tate and Liza would have been good. Uh, the Get Lost Pseudo Woot, or the Get Lost Giraffe Rig did answer a lot of our a lot of our outs though, right? So they were uh, they were able to kind of control what I had access to by using Get Lost. And it looks like we're playing against Greninja. So this should be like pretty good matchup, honestly, if we can actually get started quick enough. All we have to do is kind of get get out the gates and start attacking quickly. Towering Splash could just end this deck, right? If I can tower eat, Towering Splash with any sort of uh, haste. However, we do see this hand here. The hand is not good. So we will be using end turn one, more than likely if I had to guess, which is fine because I'm going first, so I have plenty of time to get this Towering Splash announced, yeah. We will take the wishy-washy, sure, but like it's not really who we want. Okay, I'm closer now. Um, I could, let's see, Battle Compressor, and then I can Superior, I actually think I have it with that Ultra Ball top deck. Because um, I can Battle Compressor away, potentially have it, I don't actually know. I would have to, yeah, I, I feel like I have it. All right, I haven't like, you know, haven't used science yet, but I'm pretty sure pretty sure we got it. All right, because we have to just discard a water so that I can spear. So I think we do that. And then I can, yeah, superior for the water back. Yeah, boom, boom. Get that water energy, sicko mode. Then we go here and ultra ball away. Honestly, I can Ultra Ball away the water and the Wishy Wash. I can Ultra Ball away the Wishy Washy and the Field Blower. Next level plays. That's like kind of greedy. Is my Volcanian Prism Star in the deck, guys? I'm going to feel silly if it's not. Okay. Is my Volcanian? Because I kind of want to get rid of the Wishy Washy um, instead of benching it because it doesn't feel good in this matchup. But uh, that's fine. All right, we're going to. Because ideally, I would get rid of the Field Blower and the Wishy Washy, Jet Geyser. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Can I Jet Geyser if my opponent has no bench Pokemon? I, I don't actually know. So we're just going to be, we're going to call it safe here. And we're just going to go like this. Actually, I can't get the Jet Geyser because I have to get Lele. I don't actually know who I'm getting here. Okay. All right, Andrew, stop being greedy. All right, there we go. We're just going to get the Lele. And then, boom, bada boom, bada bing. We've got it. Yes, go get me the Arches. Arches. Ace in the hole. And then can go wishy-washy, water energy, and get it. Get it, get it. Last voice. And five cards. Pretty good hand. Um, I think, honestly, I can kind of just chill on this. Doesn't really matter. I'll wait and see what we get into next turn and and probably just go from there. I like the Volcanium Prism Star in this matchup. I mean, being able to go in and get an aggressive Volcanium Prism Star would be very good. So that might be something that we look into doing as well uh, because it's kind of looking like a little slow around here. Like I might not actually get the, um, that's fine. I might not get the turn two Towering Splash. So we could just go in for the turn two Volcanium Prism Star here, which Sauna Blast like does a lot of work to these uh, star use, little Pokemon, if he plays like a Ditto Prism Star, it would do very good against that as well, potentially. Uh, even Froakies, you know, pretty much does work against all of them. While well, having 160 hit points is nothing to scoff at, so definitely good. 
my opponent's going to get just Froakie and pass. So that is uh, very strong for me. I can just Jet Geyser up the Froakie and knock it out. So we're going to go in here and just Ultra Ball away the Egg and the Choice Band for a Shaman. And we're going to go at it. See if we can't just, uh, I mean, we have it. We just need one more water, really, to do it. So that would uh, that'd be good. And then, yep, yeah, let's deluge three times onto our Duder here. And then set up for six. And that'll be it. So we're getting out the gates very quick here with our Blastoise deck. Set up for six. One water energy. Can Jet Geyser bring up the frog. And he's donezo. Yep, going to be a little bit closer than that. It's fine. I think that I'm going to Battle Compressor away some waters. So let's do that. We'll get Uno Dos Trace. Sure. And then I am looking for one of those superiors or a comp search or anything like that. Even just like any of these being heads will get me there. So should Trainer's Mail first. Should have Trainer's Mail first. Yep, it's fine. Because the Trainer's Mail can get you, you know, the card that you need. And then I can just, yup. We'll just retreat. Boom. And then we've got it. So I will propagation. And get myself my four water energy back, please. We'll get rid of these fellas. And then, uh, yeah, go ham with that jet geyser. I don't need all these waters, but I will uh, gladly keep them just in case. I need them for something else later. Sonar Blast, boom. And there's really no reason to allocate those waters any anywhere because if I do that, I run the risk of getting stuck, right? Like, so say I put like those three waters here on my wishy-washy, then my opponent, uh, yes, Charizard is best. Thank you from getting, uh, for getting my reference, appreciate you. So like, say I put those three waters here on my wishy-washy, right? Then my opponent like does something crazy like Counter Catcher or Guzma on my Blastoise and then I'm just like, I hate when this happens. Can't attack, right? That would be pretty disastrous. So you never really want to just like throw all your water on board unless it's totally necessary because you just risk getting stuck. You don't want to do that to yourself. So this turn, they are teammating. I imagine that they need to get themselves two Froakies, uh, which means that this star you might just sit here with you know, 20 damage on it. If that happens, you already know I'm about to sauna blast up something else and then take a double knockout. So that's what's happening here. Oh, Jet Geyser. All right, boom. Bring up, bring up another person. Taking a two prize turn. Yes, Charizard, also a man of culture. I see you too are a man of culture. Very nice. And then we'll take our double knockout here, go down to three prizes before my opponent even gets to do anything. Completely disgusting. All right, Sonic Blast. Take another knockout. Sick. Now, I think that my opponent is pretty much out of this game. Honestly, if this was me playing Greninja, I'd be like, all right, it's about concede. Real concede hours here. Um, but, you know, we'll see what they got. I cannot use Towering Splash right now. I'll give them that because I have jammed my bench. I had to do it in order to set up. So, that's all good. We got Frogadier, do they have the water energy? See, I told you that this was gonna happen. I told you guys, see? And sure enough, here it is, right? They tried to play me, but I was a smart cookie. Held on to my water energies. Now I can get, boom, we're gonna be good to go. And I ain't got nothing. Nothing. So we will uh, probably just Jet Geyser up another frog if I had to guess. And then just continue sniping. I think that's probably fine. Knocking out the one with the water energy on it also seems good. It's not guaranteed that my opponent has a water energy. So I don't know if like double sniping there actually matters. Yeah, it probably doesn't. So let's just, uh, sure, we'll Fisherman. It just seems like real Fisherman hours here. We're going to do that. Yep, plenty of water, friend. And then let's just deluge. Throw all them boys onto the Blastoise. And uh, I really wish that I could, like, sky return for a knockout. I just can't. I can't. So we'll do that. And then I guess I could Hydro Pump. Yeah, it seems bad, though. So we're just going to retreat. 
and make him deal with this Volcanium Prism Star. But the sad thing is now, you know, like now, my opponent is getting to the point where they could Shadow Stitch me, right? So like now I need to ask myself like, all right, I need to like put some water energy into play now. But then my opponent could just like, hmm, I suppose if I knock out one of these benched ones and they bring up this one, it'll have 40 damage on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's Jet Geyser. All right, we're going to do that. That way, like, I can potentially knock out this one, I guess, right? But I don't have Guzma. So we may need to, like, just put as many water energies down as possible now. Yeah, let's actually start burning through this deck. Okay. Comp search. It's very good. And then we can get that Guzma to make sure that we can continue attacking. Towering Splash is very good. Unfortunately, my opponent has just not been very proactive, so I've not been able to do that. All right. We're going to Propagation. Uh, I also just had like a very, I had an unfortunate starting hand where I had to put this Wishy Washy down. Didn't want that, but that's just where we're at. And we'll Ordering Pad again. Nothing. It's cool. All right. We're going to Retrieval these. and get our four waters back. I think I am putting these all into play just in case I start to get, just in case I start to get uh, in a bad spot. And I guess he can, what, Torrential Vortex? Okay, I mean, I, I guess, wishy-washy, you're just like who we got right now, all right? It's not, you're not the man we want, but we'll take you, all right? And then four and five, that's fine, okay. So we've got the comp search in my hand and the comp search is good because now I can just go grab Guzma with the computer search so if my opponent tries to stall me out again I can just go in and Guzma and Torrential Vortex with with Wishy Washy which will do 120 damage with the extra 20 that I have sniped with Sauna Blast that's going to be enough to knock out any of these uh, low grade Greninjas here, non brick Greninjas. We can knock them out with Torrential Vortex. And then if we do encounter a Greninja break, we could Blue Surge GX, though we are not trying to Blue Surge GX because that will just get all of my. Oh, they're going to Moonlight Slash. Sorry, fella. I don't think that that was necessarily the best play, but it's cool. All right. That's all they got. They needed to keep their energy, apparently. So we will. Uh, yeah, probably just stick more in the sand. It's not too much else that I need, so I can comp search away these guys. And probably just get myself an egg to throw into the discard pile. That's fine. Battle compressor, get rid of some other things. Yeah, they're going to scoop her up because they ain't got it like that, right? So great stuff. All right. Archie's beats Greninja. Not very close. So Greninja kind of falling by the wayside here in expanded format. Not a super duper duper relevant deck anymore. I think Pikaram also does very well against it from what I've seen. So that's uh, that's cool. All right, let's uh, let's throw another throw another Pikaram game. Honestly, I'm just trying to get like a good game in with Pikaram. The only games that I've played so far were trash games with Pikaram. It was not good. But it's, uh, it's fine. We're going to redeem ourselves right here against this pure water deck, apparently. It's pure, pure water. That's all, all we got. Thank you guys all for joining us here this morning. Appreciate you. Uh, big shout out to all of the subs. Thank you guys. Big shout out to everybody who supports me on Patreon as well. I'm going to be getting that, uh, that War Turtle video out. Uh, tonight. I'm going to be filming that tonight and getting that done. I'm um, sorry for the delay on that. So I am going to be cranking out that exclusive video for you guys as a Toronto regional prep video. And sure enough, we are playing against uh, Greninja again. All right. Greninja hours out here, but that's okay. And we have got a pretty unplayable starting hand, everybody. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Unplayable hand. <laughs> Great. Not unplayable. We've got one male. Sometimes you gotta just put all your faith in that one male. So, I'm gonna be doing that War Turtle exclusive video tonight and cranking that out after work. So we streamed here this morning, got that going on tonight. Probably also need to film a video for the YouTube channel tonight, so gonna be doing that. 
And then I, let's see, ooh, I've got two males. All right, okay, I see you, Dick. All right, we got a juniper, that's cool. And then let's, see, let's do it again, Ultra Ball. Ah, well, I eh, can't win them all. Okay, actually I'm gonna take that choice band because I don't think that my opponent plays any GXs. So we will just gladly discard that. And we'll go here and boom, just discard them all, fine. This is a, uh, all right, this is doable. Let's see, we are going to comp search away the Guzma and a Juniper, I guess, right? For my Tapu Coco Prism Star, potentially? Yeah, not the Juniper, that kind of feels bad, but maybe the Juniper, yeah. Okay, uh, the Electro, I mean, we're just going for it. I'm just, you know, I'm all in. All right, it's fine, we're gonna grab I think you grab the Tapu Coco because the Picaroms are easier to find. Yeah, so I think I grab that because I want to use this on the first turn of the game because, or at least the second turn of the game. I want to use it early. So we're going to do that and we're going to set up for four. And see what we get here off of four cards. Shoo! Okay, that's what I am talking about, guys. All right, I think that we, I haven't done the math yet. Let's see, if I go... Yeah, and double energy switch, we got it. Got it, fellas. Thank you, almighty Hitmonchan, for the sub. Shout out to you. Hopefully you enjoy your brand new emotes. And let's celebrate that sub with a turn one glorious full blitz. We got Zorora here, boom, boom. And what more do you need? Sick, all right. And this is why this deck is totally, completely busted in half right now. Turn one, 180 damage. We're gonna accelerate three energy onto my active Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX. And yeah, we could just Tag Bolt next turn, right? So that's nuts. We started off turn one full blitz, turn two Tag Bolt. Like, I don't really know that a non-GX deck can really keep up with that kind of aggression. Facing down a 240 hit point Pokemon, uh, I've got Zorora in play, so even if they try to counter catch or Guzma something up right now, it's not going to work because I could just retreat for free with the Lightning Energy. Yes, thank you for joining us, Almighty Hitmonchan. Hopefully, you enjoy your new Tricky Gym membership. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, the Detective Pikachu stuff looks like super fun. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be excellent, you know, collectability stuff for sure, for sure. I'm not sure that any of the cards look super competitive, but I mean, who really cares? The collectability of it is just so fun. And I think that movie themed Pokemon cards, like we haven't really gotten too many. I mean, obviously there are movie promos, but like like this though, the live action, never seen that. So that's like super exciting. Um, I think here just knocking out two Frogadier here just seems like a really, uh, really boss move. Yeah, seems kind of like an alpha play. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be the maneuver for sure. So let's just uh, nest ball here. I think, honestly, there's not really anybody that I want to grab. You know, there's Aurora. And I don't want to put down another peek around because that could just be like kind of a, I guess could be, yeah, I'll just tag bolt. All right. So, I mean, I guess I could have saved tag bolt for later. Could have just full blitzed again. And I could have tag bolted two bigger Greninjas, I guess, but Ah, that felt pretty good. I don't know. Going down to three prizes here before my opponent gets to do anything kind of feels excellent. So, also limiting them to only one Greninja this turn, I think that that's a good play because then I can just full blitz that thing for knockout. I think we're just going to outrun them completely even though they can Shadow Stitch. We should probably be fine. Uh, even if they get like counter catcher, counter catcher Shadow Stitch right now, I've got Energy Switch in my hand. I can hard retreat any of these guys to just continue using full blitz every turn. And they might actually just go for the bubble, which is definitely a possibility. And, uh, oh, what is the ditto? Mr. Mime is competitive and the ditto. All right, let me look at that ditto, all right? Because I didn't read him. Copy anything. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. If this Pokemon doesn't have necessary energy to use it, this attack does nothing. Oh, that ditto is good. Yep, that's actually a playable card. So the ditto from Detective Pikachu is super cool. I love that, and I love the set symbol 
for the Detective Pikachu. It's a little uh, magnifying glass. Do you guys see that? And what's even cooler about the Ditto is that you actually don't need an ability to do it. The Mew from Fates Collide, you needed an ability, um, but this one you do not. Okay, so I actually am just going to, I think I just wait here. Um, that's my last energy switch. I want to see if my opponent tries to do any, like, shenanigans where they bring up any of my Pokemon, and I don't necessarily want to just, like, waste all these resources. I actually don't want to waste this Electro Power either, so uh, I am just going to wait on this hand. That was definitely a big flip for my opponent, kind of halting my uh, momentum there for sure. And now they do have a Greninja break in play. So let's see what they do. I mean, if they have like Ace Trainer, that would be really good here, but it looks like they don't. So they're just gonna play Sycamore. I should have bench, I should have just put this Choice Band down. There's no real reason for that to stay in my hand at all. So we definitely should have tossed that into play just to get it out of my hand. But yeah, they're gonna start kind of establishing their board a little bit. This uh, Greninja, we know he's a goner though. Even if he's got, oh, so that's why, yeah, yeah, he ain't trying to play around. Like, He's just going to keep going for that bubble attack. So let's see here. We will use our max elixir, get an energy on to, honestly, I kind of like it, one energy on both Auroras so that there's nobody fat that can just be, like, stalled out of the game. And then we're going to energy switch back to our other Zorora here. So now I'm safe, right? There's nobody that just gets, like, uh, that just gets, like, smashed, right? Uh Two Electro Powers. All right, I do have to be, like, kind of careful about my Electro Powers, but I want to find, like, Guzmas and stuff. Yeah, so that's fine. We're just going to... Um, what's Max Elixir? That's fine. All right, so we can actually just attack with one of these Auroras here. That's cool. And do that so that my Pikachu and Zekrom is not just taking, like, a mouthful here from that Grenada Break. That would be bad. We want to keep the Guzma in hand, that's great. The Electro Power in hand, also great, because 170 is just out of reach for a lot of these dudes here. And I need to make sure that I have just like one energy left in deck that I can attach to either like Tapu Lele or Shaman. If my opponent tries to like counter catch or stall any of those. Sure enough, looks like we're getting end. Uh, I don't know if, were those Ultra Balls in my hand? I probably should have played those just to like thin the deck a little bit more, but. It's all good. We ripped an Electro Power off that, so that is fantastic. And we are about to get Shadow Stitched now, so I'm going to have to hard retreat this thing into the Pikachu and Zekrom and just full blitz for Knockout. That's cool, though. Uh, I think... Yikes. I think that that's cool. I mean, I really just will have to find one more Electro Power for game. So that will... That'll get it. I mean, otherwise... Uh, we are definitely locked out. So this is the part of the game where Greninja just excels, right? They are going to just item lock me every turn, or not item lock, ability lock me every turn, and end me to low to try and just pull out of this game here. So I've already GX'd, GXing not an auction. We are not passing this turn, though. We are for sure just retreating into this guy. And we're going to hard retreat those. Electro power, and he's going to be salty about that. There's no way he's happy that this is what's happening right here. So we're just going to take that knockout, 180 damage, no energy left in the deck. Oh my gosh. So, like, that could be bad. Sure. But we're going to just keep chugging along with full blitz for 150 every single turn. We've got an N as well. And just hope that this gets us there. But, like I said, a rogue Guzma or a counter catcher could be kind of bad for us right now, especially as they just continue piling on the pressure with Giant Water Shuriken. They already know that they need to take this Pikachu and Zekrom out of the equation. He's doing way too much here. Oh, thank you so much, Jesse Parker, for the bits. Shout out to you for being awesome, Jesse, and congrats on a good run yesterday at the Full Grip Games League tournaments. Uh, sure enough, yes, the Rogue Guzma play that I had talked about. Sure enough, here it is. And they are going to, you know, shadow stitch this guy. Which is why I wanted to save some of the stuff in my deck. Yes, but sure enough, all four energy switch gone. I only have flash energy left in the deck. So in order to get out of this, I need to find a 
Guzma. That's it. It's my only way out of this game. So, what are my best odds of finding Guzma? Probably need to bench this thing and N, but ending myself to one feels horrible. So, I don't know what actually gives me the best odds here. I feel like potentially next turn we Ultra Ball and then N to like thin my deck as much as possible. Rather than, okay, yeah. I think rather than um, rather than just end myself to one here, I think I need to wait another turn potentially. This is getting out of hand fast though. Like that is that's going down. One more turn of giant water shriek and then that thing's gone, and they're going to be taking five prizes right here. So the sketchy thing is if they just. Oh my gosh! How did they know? How did they know? Are they watching me, bro? Are they watching me? And sure enough, look at that. Oh my gosh. No, dude, no. All right. How do we get back into the same exact hand, dude? We have many more, actually, no, I'm out of Dudaverse, but Colrus would be better. Anything would be better than what we got going on right here. Okay, we at this point, we need to end. Oh, geez. Thank you so much, Natalie, for those bits. Appreciate you. Okay, we've got Colrus. It's not Colrus for a lot, but we do have Colrus for three. They're going to take five prizes this turn. They're going to knock out this thing, and they're going to knock out this thing. And then I need to just Colrus into my one of Electro Power, and then we win. Oh, I also need a Flash Energy. I need two cards. <laughs> okay, and then we can win. Uh, or I could... Nope, Guzma's not going to do it. I need to find an energy. I need like a multiple card combo off of Colrus to just a couple cards. And I think that they probably are not going to be giving me any more Pokemon on the bench. So I am only going to have a Colrus to three. Oh, unless they are Guzmaing up something else. Oh, this is atrocious. Okay. And then I think they just uh, are going to Giant Water. I don't know why they decided to do things this way. Oh, and then they're going to hit me for, oh, wow. Let's see. The Moonlight Slash for 70. That'll be a knockout. Okay, so it's still a knockout. Or are they Shadow Stitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why they decided to do things that way. It was the same same difference, really. So, oh, thank you so much, Lionheart, for the raid. Appreciate it, Lionheart. Welcome, welcome. You guys ready to see me lose to this, uh, <laughs> lose to this Greninja deck? All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, chat. We got a Colrus for three. That's one piece right there. Let's go, chat. Do you believe? Do you believe, chat? Do you believe? All right. We're going to give it a nice wind up here first. All righty, chat. Let's go. Colrus for three. Oh, my gosh. I didn't hit it. <laughs> okay. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, chat. Okay. So I need to thin my deck. One more card here. I think... Well, yeah, I mean, we'll get the Shaman just in case. Did we have it? Yeah, there's one Electro Power in the deck. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's fine. And we have to Plasma Fist for not enough. That feels really bad. But at least... <laughs> I'm sorry, Charizard is best. Uh, at least we've put some pressure on, right? So I have a couple of outs. I can top deck, I mean, because, oh, can they just do it? They can't do it, right? They do 60, it's uh, 80, 80, 110, 110 plus 60, they can't do it yet. So I have a one turn clock here to make it happen. This top deck needs to be it. Oh my gosh, okay. So that's it. They get to Giant Water Shrieking for 60 damage. Oh my gosh, I can't use any abilities. We just got... Played, chat. Oh my gosh, we got played. That feels horrible. I can't believe it. Look, the electro power was right there. Feels bad, chat. Feels really bad. It could have been a bunch of top. I could have top decked the stadium. Stadium would have been a win there. I could have top decked the stadium. Yeah, that's actually, or the flash energy. I needed a two card. Two cards got me there. Or Guzma. Any of my two Guzma would have got me there too. 
All right, chat. Sad day. Yeah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. He's gonna, he could just, yep. Yeah. You have a good deck, sir. Oh, chat. Oh, no, chat. <laughs> Send your Fs. That was, that was too little, too late. We got end out of it. Greninja doing its thing. That was uh, a sad, sad, sad deck. All right, let's play Hitmonchan. We'll try with the Hitmonchan deck, guys. This is probably going to be my last game. Thank you all for hanging out on a Thursday morning. Shout out to my subs. Shout out to those guys that donated bits. Appreciate you. Uh, thank you guys, everybody who supports Full Grip Games as well, has bought codes, cards, all that from the shop. You guys rock. Really appreciate the support for the store, too. Uh, me and all my friends work here. So you buy stuff from Full Grip Games, you directly support us and help us pay our bills and keep our jobs. It's great. So really, really appreciate the support to the shop as well. And everybody who bought stuff from Collinsville and things like that. It was uh, really, really encouraging. All right, so we've got Hitmonchan here in the start, and then Diancie and the Let Loose. So not a bad hand here. I've also got myself the Nest Ball, so that I could turn one, hit and run into a, a Wobbuffet. Yes, that truly was just some uh, some bad luck. I mean, honestly, I had like a lot of outs there, I think. I don't think I was incorrect for holding the Ultra Ball in the end that one turn. I was like, at that point, ending myself to one and sending the sending the Ultra Ball and the Picaram back into the deck. Like, those are cards that I could potentially hit off of that end of one, and that feels really bad. So I don't really want to do that. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, Team Dead quite literally puts food on the table. So thank you, guys, everybody who supports us. Thank you, thank you. All right, we've got... A foul play Zorak there in the discard pile, and this should be like, this should be a good matchup for us. So if we lose this one, you know, the Hitman Chen deck might not be real, all right? Because this should, in all, you know, in all theory, be pretty, pretty free, right? Let's see. Alrighty then. We have got Comp Search. It's very good as well. Let's go in and, uh, yeah, first we're going to do this. I actually don't really need the comp search, so I think that I may just not get it uh, because I don't want to discard any of these things. I actually like the floatstone here, and I like the, the energy there, and I like the, you know, I like the let loose. So, I mean, really, what do I what do I need to comp search for? I got it all right here, folks. And then we've also got the shrine, and I've got the bag. Sick. So we will get some things here off of... Uh, the bag. We probably want another fault stone and a muscle band is probably okay. Um, I've got no consistency cards though, so we just gotta hope that things kind of buff out here. The band and probably another float stone feels good. Okay, just in case. You never know uh, if like my opponent tries to like stall me out or something. So I think we just hit and run into the wob. I'm not gonna put the shrine down yet because I want to get more mileage out of it. And I want to make sure that if my opponent has like a sky field or something that they play down this turn, I want to just like snap counter the sky field. So they don't have access to trade right now unless they've got a Guzma in that hand, which would be pretty fortunate. Oh, well, yeah, sure enough. I do always talk about the Bide Barricade not being a very strong lock. It kind of, you know, I don't know. I don't think that it's, it's very good. Um, but they're just going to Colrus. So they're just looking for, yeah, and then sure enough, told you they'd have the sky field. So they're just going to look for a double colorless here off a of big Culver's for eight and see if they can't uh, just knock out the Wobbuffet like that. It would be very good for them. And sure enough, there's that DCE. I've pretty much never seen Zorix miss the turn two DCE. They just always get it. I don't know how they do it, but they do. So we've got Hitmonchan. All right. Lone Hitmonchan here doing his measly hit and run for not enough. Yep. Okay. And then uh, we've just got to hit and run into Marshadow. This feels horrible. So I think, yep. All right. May, like maybe I guess I should not have gone in and let's see, 180, 190. Like we're very close, just not quite. And I guess if that's a choice band, that would have been a knockout. So 
maybe I should have grabbed the choice band off of the adventure bag. It all feels bad. Like, I don't know. It all, it all feels bad. Anyways, uh, maybe I should have comp searched away the Marshadow and just gone for a quick Juniper there to set up. Yeah, because now my Hitmonchan's dead, and I just, like, feel bad about that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's all good. You know what? It's it's fine. I don't I don't feel super impressed by this deck, and maybe like I'm not exactly piloting it a hundred a hundred and ten percent. You know, maybe I'm only rocking it like seventy or eighty, but it's still just like I don't feel like I should be putting the time and effort into perfecting this deck or learning it because it just doesn't impress me all that much. Like I feel like it sometimes barely beats the decks that it is supposed to be womping on. So we'll uh, we'll see here. I mean, maybe we get a, a busted top deck. Chance a real deck, but it seems inconsistent. It is because it doesn't play any other. It doesn't play a busted draw engine. Every single expanded deck has a completely busted draw engine, except for Hitmonchan, right? Hitmonchan just plays a bunch of supporters and wants to just draw into them every turn. It's okay. Every other deck's got like Zoroarks, things like that. My opponent still is not like counter that shrine, so like we're gonna say like, all right, maybe he ain't got it like that, bro. Uh, and we're about to take two prizes, so put your believe hats on, fellas. All right, I'm not attaching energy to that Diancy. That ain't happening. So we're just gonna pass, and uh, yeah, we'll take our two prizes. That's cool. I and mean, we did just eliminate two special energy from the field. So okay, chat. Okay, okay. Maybe I need to put my believe hat on here a little bit more firm because uh, <laughs> my opponent has actually not got a lot going on. The ability locked themselves, just lost both their DCE. This seems kind of devastating for them, but we'll see We'll see how it goes. They're going to call risk for six with no trades unless they feel blower themselves. So we could pull out of this one just barely, especially with those top decks. Looks like they do have a DCE though, they're gonna comp search for one. And I will have, I guess, Rescue Stretcher for Hitmonchan and Juniper. So just barely not losing here. Love it when that's our situation, just barely not losing. <laughs> and they still have not found a counter stadium yet, bro. So that's a, uh... oh, do we go in and like, we could just Guzma here. That feels bad. No, no, Guzma feels bad. We need to. We need to go. We need to hit the act. Let's put a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand. Welcome back, Hitmonchan. Okay, and we'll get you here. We'll get you here. Floatstone here, and Juniper for seven new cards. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. More Hitmonchans, so that I don't necessarily just lose. And then pseudo Wudo is fine. If they break their own lock, they are not going to be doing a lot of damage. And then I think I just go choice band. I'm doing 30, 60, 120. It's not a lot of damage, folks. But you know what? It's better than nothing. I will probably also just energy lotto to try and thin my deck, but I failed. Is there? It's not an AZ I saw in this deck, is it? That just seems, that seems bad. All right, we'll hit and run. And I think that I just promote the wood. That seems like the best case scenario here. So we're going to hope that uh, things just kind of <coughs> hope that things kind of just buff out here. Doesn't feel great. I know, right? Yes. My day-to-day -day talk does feature quite a few South Park references. I think they're just so far ingrained into my brain from how many times I've watched through every episode of South Park that I, um, you know, that it's just immistakable. It just doesn't, you know, I mean, there's no separating it. My life from South Park references. There's no, no separation there. It just flows out. I don't even think about it. And I respect my authority. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's too many, man. Way too many. Seriously? I'm seriously, guys. <laughs> I'm seriously. <laughs> All right. They got Ultra Ball here. And going to grab themselves something else. Yes. Get rid of more Skyfields. Very good. 
I do not want you to have sky fields. I want my shrines to stick forever. <laughs> Lionheart, at least take me to dinner first. <laughs> uh, at least want you to wine me and dine me first, huh? Too funny. All right. You go, Hitmonchan. Yes. You go with your bad self. All right, we've got to end this dude to two. That would be ideal. We do not have an end. So we're going to teammates first, and then we're going to end next turn. <laughs> All right, so I think, uh, ooh, countercatcher is spicy, but that's not really what we're looking for. Uh, I think probably want, like, a shrine I in an N would be good. No, N actually seems kind of bad right now. Let's see. This all seems kind of sketchy for him. If I end him to low, let's see, we're doing 60. That's enough to knock him out. So I kind of want, like, strong energy and a choice bin. I think. No. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, so if they Guzma, yeah, yeah, we're going to put the strong energy here. And then let's just put that choice band down as well. I think, I mean, I don't know, if they feel better, that would be salty camper. So I think we're doing 60, right? Yeah, 170, 60, yeah, that'll do it. All right, so we're going to hit and run into that fella. Boom, two prizes. All right, and they're probably going to try and, like, trash Lance garb me, okay? So the... The game plan here is to just teammates for counter catcher, all right? And then we can counter catcher up this fella and potentially get another strong so that I, or a DCE even, like if I get my DCE, I can magnum punch, right? So that's the, that's the goal, which is crazy. We actually have a route to win this game, guys. So I'm really glad we kept our believe hats on. My opponent's got a zero card hand, dude. We win. <laughs> we win, yes. Oh, my gosh. I think we just got it, right? Dude, there's no way they win this one. We just have it like that. We can go first seeker for teammates. Hello, teammates. Um, and we get it. So let's just get that sauce, bro. The counter catcher, busted. And also, I think, like, yeah, another strong DCE. Yeah, DCE busted. There we go. Sick rips, Hitmonchan. Get there, Hitmonchan. Boom, boom, boom. Counter catcher up the Zork. And you're dead. You're dead. Magnum punch. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, you're crazy, Hitmonchan. You're crazy. We win. So that's uh, that's amazing. Charizard is best. I actually went to see Book of Mormon uh, when it was playing that was actually incredible too so i do agree matt stone and trey parker super super funny guys they are incredible all around so thank you guys so much for watching the stream this morning you guys rock appreciate you appreciate the love and support shout out to everybody who supports the shop full grip games here by shopping on the website all of that really really appreciate that also big shout out to everybody who donated bits gave the channel a follow and sub to the channel you guys are incredible really appreciate it keep me going every single day i'll be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m eastern standard time to do some more ptcgo streaming and testing for the dallas regional not dallas toronto regional championships so watch out for that as well War Turtle subs on Patreon. I'm going to be getting your exclusive video up tonight, so stay tuned for that as well. And then I should have a couple of videos on YouTube. If you haven't checked me out on YouTube, then, uh, oh, never mind. I'm not going to be here at 10 a.m. tomorrow. We are leaving. Okay, so I'm not going to be here. We're getting to Toronto super early. All right, so I am not going to be here tomorrow morning. But War Turtle subs, I will have your video up tonight. All right, so no stream. We are leaving. Uh, Natalie says so. So that is good. Thank you, Natalie, for the heads up. That sounds excellent. I didn't know if we had to wait for anybody, so I thought maybe I would be here from 10 to noon. But apparently not. We're hitting the road early. Going to get to Toronto super early and have a lot of fun. Yeah. Anyways, big shout-out to... Uh, 
to Pedro Torres as well for completing the 35 win streak challenge as well. So shout out to you, Pedro, for being awesome and an inspiration to us all. You guys all have a great day and hopefully an awesome weekend. If I see you in Toronto, I'll see you in Toronto. Take it easy, guys. Peace.